I am Dr. Surajit Ghosh, Vice President, Indian Public Health Association. Uh, I will speak something about risk factors associated with treatment of DOTS in TB patients and advantages in bottleneck in implementing DOTS TB treatment in India. Also, reducing the communicable diseases outbreak in developing nations. The main problem uh, respect uh, dots patient uh, treatment of dot patients in uh, of TB patients uh, in dot regime that the patients are not uh, attending the dot clinics regularly, uh, particularly those who are employees of different uh, factories and workers of jute mills and all this. In our state in West Bengal, the most of the jute workers and uh, coal mine workers are from outside states. So during their illness, they usually went to their uh, native village after few days of treatment. So dot treatments is not continued. And moreover, uh, they are ESI uh, covered with employee state insurance and so they need leave for their treatment and if they went to the dot centers, they don't get any leave from the dot centers. That is also a constraint and so without completing the treatment, they went to their villages and in this way, uh, the half treatment they are developing the multi-duct resistance tuberculosis and also they are spreading disease amongst their in the community and so considering these things government of india again is uh, structuring the therapy of the tuberculosis patient they started daily regime treatment instead of dot and the third thing is in dot treatments, the health workers providing them the medicines are sometimes not palatable for the patients. The most of them taking drugs in empty stomach, they suffering from vomiting. But without taking precautions on that line, most of the health workers told them to take the drugs in empty stomach. But that can be modified. And another thing is spitting uh, anywhere uh, causes multi-resistance tuberculosis and also spreading the tuberculosis in the community. So awareness amongst the uh, workers and patients regarding their lifestyle and health hygiene and spitting will prevent the spread of tuberculosis in the community. Thank you.